Now, I started off this speech today, as you recall, by saying, what the heck am I doing here? And I literally mean, what the heck am I doing here? You see, I told you I retired from the military six months ago, and that's true. I did not retire because I wanted to, I did not retire when I wanted to, and I did not retire on my own terms. I was medically retired from the United States Air Force. This uh, is a doozy. Back in 2012, I was the commander of an F-15 E squadron. I got a rash and a bite on my right hip. I went to the doctor, they said it was a spider bite. This would start an interesting uh, journey, which is now six years next month. Long story short, I would have a massive neurological decline from 2012 to 2016 that the doctors couldn't figure out. In fact, it would be 1,525 days from the time of my bite to my diagnosis. I will have seen over 24 doctors across eight specialties and I received three misdiagnoses. Just under two years ago, August 2016, with them still not knowing what was wrong with me, I woke up one day and I could no longer talk was slurring my words, I could no longer walk safely, massive vertigo. I had dementia-like symptoms, I could no longer care for myself. They had to bring in a caregiver to take care of me. I was sent up to Boston, Massachusetts, right? Some smart Harvard people. And that's where we discovered what had happened to me. You see, I am a survivor of neurological tick-borne illness. A tick, me. Little, that whole career, my entire dream, everything I'd worked towards for, since I was five years old, 20 something years of wearing my nation's uniform came to an end six months ago because of a tick. You gotta be kidding me. And I stand up here as someone with invisible illness. I can't really read or write. I have major autonomic nervous system problems and in a cruel twist of fate, I get motion sick. <laughs> I'm thinking to myself, real, oh, on the airliners, like I always know where the barf bags are now. I'm like, you have got to be kidding me. But I got to tell you something. I spent uh, nine months bedridden, uh, 22, 23 hours a day. Couldn't talk or walk for that amount of time. I'd spend another year uh, housebound doing therapy like vestibular rehab, etc. cetera. Um, and so the irony of me now becoming a professional speaker is not lost on me, but I joke that I have nine months worth of words used up or saved that I need to like use on people, okay, because I couldn't talk for nine months. But I'm here to tell you that I honestly think that this change in my life, this being broken thing was the most amazing thing that could have ever happened to me. It was the greatest gift I've ever been given. We talk a lot about resilience and resilience is cool and resilience is important, but that's not what I'm going through. And that's not what a lot of people in the audience who have similar stories are going through. Resilience is about bouncing back to your old self. Well, I'm here to tell you when you go through something like that pregnancy or you go through something like neurological tick-borne illness, I mean, where did that come from? You're not the same. You come out completely different. It's a crucible experience. Your old self ceases to exist. This isn't about resilience. This is about resurgence. This is my resurgence. I am reinventing myself right here in front of all of you. I just started speaking three months ago, by the way. <laughs> reinventing myself right here in front of you. So being broken isn't something that you need to shy away from. Being broken is a part of the human condition. Being broken is something I think that is absolutely beautiful. I look at people differently. I look at life differently. My level of compassion is much higher. When you find yourself in a position like this, don't waste energy on things you can't control. Yield to overcome and think about the difference between resilience and resurgence. So today I've taken you on a little bit of a journey. The three different kinds of headwinds, shared a couple of my stories. I hope that you can see relations in, into some of your stories in your personal and professional life. And I also offered some of the tools that I use and the mantras that I used then to help me get through it and that I still use to today. And I offer those to all of you. And so I want to thank you again for letting me be here. And thank you again for being a part of my resurgence. And so with that, I wish all of you blue skies and tailwinds, but I also wish you a couple of headwinds along the way. Thank you. <laughs>